David, given the number of people who are now flying in the U.S., it is not a surprise that Delta beat on the top and the bottom line when it comes to the first quarter with the smaller than expected loss and better than expected revenue. The real focus is what are we going to see for the second half of this year? Profitable third quarter and fourth quarter is what the company is expecting. The Delta variant, which is popping up around the country, Ed Bastian says it is not hurting their bookings at this point. And the corporate travel, that's the real focus. It's been improving. It's expected to be down just 40 to 45 percent in the third quarter. Here's Bastian talking about the return of the business traveler. People are still working from home. When we surveyed our customers as of last week, over 95 percent of them tell us that they will be open and back in their offices no later than the end of this year. I think that's going to be the big catalyst because people that are travel on business need some place to go. The other catalyst, international travel, and that's going to take longer to come back. Transatlantic is what Delta and so many of the airlines are focused on right now. While more people are flying here in the U.S., the EU and U.K. bookings, they're only slowly improving, and that's because the U.S. is not allowing Europeans to come in. We can go over there. They just can't come back over here. Ed Bastian says that needs to change. The airlines are ready to accept European travelers. As you take a look at shares of Delta, one other thing that's going to get a fair amount of attention on the conference call, which is just beginning with analysts, is the price of jet fuel, up about 2% compared to two years ago, compared to 2019, Carl. What's the outlook for the second half of this year? Ed Bastian is fairly confident it will stay relatively in check. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.